hey hey guys so um i've been doing some uh or somebody was asking me about browsio the other day saying um can you use browsio or what do you use browsio for your pbns and um something that i've touched on lots and lots um in my pbn training on my youtube channel is something that never people never talk about okay so I'm just going to take this is one this is a domain that's uh, expired and got loads of authority looks awesome and what I do is I come over to Browsio and I I've only got a couple open here at the moment but I have hundreds of tabs open and one of the first things I like to check is whether it's had a drop or not Click on go. What's a drop? A drop is something where when the domain actually becomes unregistered. Okay, that's a drop. So you buy a domain, nobody wants it anymore and they leave it. Okay, that's a drop. Then two, three months later, somebody goes along and they buy it. Okay. When it's an expired domain, okay, I'm only looking for one drop. I just want it to have that one drop that somebody, when somebody hasn't renewed it for whatever reason, you know, they've gone out of business, blah, 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 right? And then when it's an auction domain, I want that to show, I don't want there to show any drops. So if it's an auction domain and I don't want it to show any drops, it will literally say, you know, two registrars, one registrar, and it won't even say this bit here with zero drops. It just won't have that. Okay, if it hasn't got that, it means it's had no drops. That's good. Okay. Now the problem is all these who is lookup people only allow you to do it. This is a hundred dollars a month, right? Domain tools. Um, so what I do is I have lots of windows open. Um, I think my proxy is having a bit of a um, meltdown a minute. Let's um, so domain tools. I think all my proxies are. Uh, this is the this is one of the little issues with the proxies, but you know it's nothing to do with Browsio. This is the proxies. So who is domain tools dot com? Okay. So let's come to Domain Hunter Gather a minute. So it's found, gone and found some of these um, these domains. So this one here, Order Cialis. So if I go by Trustflow a minute, right? Let's let's order by Trustflow. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah, awesome. I've got this great one at the top. Oh no, that's not Trustflow. Let's. Let's do the trust flow. Free Sony PSP wallpaper. Well, I can tell that that's just by <laughs> reading the name, I can tell that's going to be spammed to death, right? Um, but the all of these tools, none of them have little the drops in it. So let's just go make sure it is available. There you go. Copy that. So this is the tool that I've just showed you is Domain Hunter Gatherer, and this is showing me expired domains. Okay, so I just put in my big massive list of keywords related to a niche, and it's gone through and it's brought back thirty odd thousand, um, thirty five thousand, but it's only showing thirty two because I've put some of the filters on. So you come over to here, paste that into there, click on search. It will come back and say, are you a robot? Click on go. It's just going a bit slow because of the proxies, but that doesn't really bother me. Because I can leave that and then I can, you know, come over and I can uh, just 
No, it's not letting me um, tick the box. Why is that? Ah, oh, now it's asking me for bloody images. I hate these ones. Pi, pi, pi. Okay, there we go. There we go. So come back here. Look at that. I said four drops. So it just goes to show it, it's been spammed. You know, anything when it's got loads of loads of drops like that, it's you know it's going to be um, it's going to be spammed to death. So just move on, right? This is this is my little way of quickening up, quickening up, speeding up the domain getting process. Okay. So um, yes, it doesn't show it all in here in Domain Hunter Gatherer or any of the other tools. None of them. Nobody talks about this, right? But um, it's it's done me well, okay. And when when PageRank was was back in the was being updated and stuff, what I would always do from auction domains is I would never I, well I, I do this now, but I never bought anything that had a drop. And I did a PBN training showing people, um, you know, that I talk about that I check the drops and all that kind of stuff. And I had loads of emails. So if you've been on my email if you've been on my list for quite some time or on my YouTube channel for some time you'll you'll probably you might remember an email that I did or and a video where people I was, I've had all these emails with people saying yeah my, my bloody page rank every time I, I was buying PB I was buying PBNs and my page rank kept on dropping when they looked they would see that they had a number of drops in here okay and then their PB then their page rank was dropping so you know I've never had a page I've never bought a domain and had a page rank drop okay the reason that these other people were I believe is because Google knows how many drops there's been and if it's a large number of drops any I think it they just you know Google's like well you know any links that were created you know back a few drops ago aren't really valid anymore because you know this is now being registered you know on it it's now on its 12th registrar and it's had 10 drops so you know I've got no um, cast iron um, proof of this but I've not ever had any drops but people who I've taught all of this to who then go and you know students who forget to check this part of the process they used to, you know, come back and say, "Oh, my page rank's dropped." We'll go and have a look, and boom, they've got drops in there. Okay, so it's just something that I I use to say, "Well, it's probably being spammed to death, or it's not going to have as much authority as you thought it would because of all the number of drops." Um, and it makes perfect sense, really, if you think about it. You know, just think about, you know, if I was Google. That's that's what I always do. I always say, well, if I was Google, would I give this as much power as I would with something that had had no drops if this was an auction domain, or one drop if it's an expired domain? Okay. Obviously, with an expired domain, you are losing that little bit of authority because it has expired. Google knows it's expired. Okay, guys. Um, but you can, you know, you can get some nice, really good domains on the cheap that passes juice, gives you a bit of bump up. And then go and you know do your auction domains to um, for your real, real powerful ones that are going to move you into the premiership, so to speak. Okay. Um, so this is just one simple way that I use. Another simple way that I use Browsio. Okay. Um, it might sound silly, but you know if I now go and try and um, do another domain, let's have a quick. Let's go to um, Domain Hunter Gatherer. Let's have a look at this. Um, This one here. Um, come to browse here. If I now try and do a who is look up. After a couple of times, it'll say select all the squares with a street sign. Okay. And that one. Oh. Hate them. Select all squares with street signs. 
It's like it. You do it. Maybe I'm. Maybe that's. I don't know. Let's have a look. There we go. Gee whiz. <laughs> Okay, so this one here, this one here's had four drops. Okay, so that's another one that I would stay away from, because, and it, it oh, it's just amazing. I just, you know, so but after a certain number of times using the free one, it was it will you know it will say no, you can't do it anymore, right? So what we want to do is, oh actually, hang on a minute. I wanted that um that models one. Let's have a look. Where's that gone? Copy that, put that into there, there we go, click on go. And this one's had two drops. Okay, so again, this is one I would stay away from. But after you've done, you know, it, it really gets on your nerves when you've, you know, you're in the you're in the flow, and then you're like, ah, oh, I can't do anymore because I've done I've done my, you know, free four for the day or five for the day or whatever it is. But when you've got loads of tabs, different tabs open, you can jump between them. Okay. Just like this. I'm not a robot. All the images with a storefront. 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 Oh, select all the food. It's got food on it. I don't like them ones very much. But here we go, right? So, you know, how cool is that? You just it's just speeding up that process. And this that's this is my initial thing, right? Because anything, you know, like I said, and I'm going to reiterate this because people will be like, what, what is it that you need to do? So with expired domains, okay, I only buy them with, with one drop. And that's the initial drop of when it first expired. With auction domains, I buy them with no drops. So it, will, it won't say anything here, okay, about the number of drops. It will just be blank. Now, why do I do that? Because... I believe that the more drops, the less authority that that domain has got, regardless. And if it's had lots of drops, it, that's people like us going out there, finding these domains, buying them and snapping them up and then spamming them to hell, doing stuff with them that they shouldn't be doing with them. They're creating PBNs, blah, 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 which we don't want. Okay, We want clean domains and this, this just really starts to simplify my process. Okay. Now the beauty of Browsio is going forward, it's version three is gonna have automation, okay? Now I've been speaking to Simon today, um, it is Thursday today, he is going to be rolling out version three to all current members today. And he is also going to be allowing 50, this is five zero or 100, new people into Browsio at the current pricing all for bit so that you kind of get in a beta tester grandfathered in thing and then doors are closed until he knows that he's happy with it now version 3 is going to have automation and what I mean by automation I mean things like iMacros okay IFTTT iMacros all that kind of stuff built in and you can just leave browser open running and it will go and do its thing okay awesome why is that important well we might be able to create an iMacro for this go in take your um, you know your list of URLs and it'll go through and open these up and pick out this information okay and then put that into a spreadsheet next to the URL and then what you can do is ex you can export all this data from things like this 
and then add in the number of drops next to it okay so you know you literally just match up the um, the domain name and then just add in an extra column which will be number of drops and then you can just go in and delete the fucking ones that uh, have got all the drops okay so I will be working really hard on trying to get that organized um, and that yeah anyway I'm, without any further ado I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this and you know if I was you guys I would be snap anybody that has not got Browsio doesn't matter what kind of business you're in from an internet marketing business this is something that you need okay now this is just one I'm just going to show you quickly show you one um, one account um, this is one Facebook account um, hello don't know who you are um, just want to show you he's got loads of friends he's got over 99 friend requests it's just madness absolute madness okay and this is obviously a um, bit of a fake persona okay but when I put posts and stuff out there it gets likes and what I love about that is if when I do stuff for a money site and I put a link to a money site and it gets likes and it gets shares and stuff that's giving that money site lots and lots of boost regardless of who these fucking people are it doesn't matter who these people are the people who liking it it's helping my posts okay really really cool anyway guys I'm gonna um, end this video here and um, I have got another video to share with you um, that yeah, I will. I might. I might. I might do them both at the same time. Uh, but the other one is also to do with Browsio, but it's also to, it's actually to do with an i macro that I've created that um, helps you do some social media stuff, or it actually teaches you how to um, um, what's the word? Get out of an over optimization penalty, actually. Um, but how Browsio, when version three is launched and the i macros can be used. How you can use this, um, how you can use the iMacros and Browsio to actually do even more to help you get out of over optimization penalties and do more stuff from a social media perspective. But um, I will let you watch that video because there is no point in me going through it all here. All right. Okay, then, guys, take it easy. All the best. Bye bye now.